Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to answer this question. What is the difference between a control flow and data flow in SSIS package? So let's go to the uh, SSDT or bids and take a look. I have created one empty package and call package one. And here we can see control flow pan as well as we can see data flow. So control flow is the part of SSIS package. That's where we can we control the uh, execution of the tasks. So such as I have a data flow task here and then I have execute SQL task here and I have uh, some uh, containers here and I can connect them or I can um, if I don't want to connect them that's fine they will run in parallel so that's where this whole thing is called control flow and uh, these are the executables uh, and these are called presence constraints uh, and these are the containers so these are the major three parts uh, of uh, control flow uh, which which uh, are used to control or uh, define the flow of execution of our SSIS package. So depending upon the execution state, let's say if we have right now uh, this data flow task, if, if this completes successfully, then the next one is going to run. This green arrow is called presence constraint and uh, uh, right now the value is set to success. It has three values, failure and completion. So we can set uh, on any of our state or value, we can set on failure so if this fails then the next one will run or uh, we can set to the completion in that case either in either case it will fail or complete the next one will run so control flow is a part of ssis package that's where we control the flow of the tasks or flow of the uh, executables the next part is the what is the difference between control flow and data flow so one of the task is called data flow task in in a package it is not necessary you will always have a data flow task but there are good chances you will have a data flow task as let me give you one example where we don't need the data flow task so uh, if we have some files sitting on one of the folder and we want to archive them so we can use the the file system task only and uh, to uh, for that package we do not need the data flow task so data flow task is optional uh, if you need it you will use it but what is the difference between control flow and data flow data flow task is the task uh, that we use to load the data from the source uh, to the destination while we load or extract uh, the data from the source uh, we will implement different type of transformations uh, depending on our business uh, requirements uh, so we have different sources here we have oladb source we have odbc flat file excel and whatnot and then uh, we have different transformations uh, if we want to aggregate the data we can use aggregate transformation if we want to split the data into multiple outputs uh, depending on the value of the data we can use conditional split uh, we can you drive the column transformation or data conversion to uh, convert to the destination uh, data type we can use a lookup merge and all different type of transformations are there so at the end we have a destinations where we want to load the data so data flow task is a is a task or the pan is a part of a ssis package that's where we extract the data from some source implement the transformations and load the data to the destination and control flow where we control the flow of those tasks that's what the major difference between two of them is thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you in next video